Oh boy, some of you have waited a long time for this. Namingly, Anthony Wells, but the E is an S, <laughs> David Antonio Stam, Randy Dill 1981, Matt Klein, Ivory Upchurch, and Owen. I haven't said hello to you in a long time, Owen, if you're still here. Also, I had a red-eared slider named Owen. Of course, we're doing once. But first, Pearl Jam Tribute Band made up of pieces of redwood trees, Burl Jam. Okay, ready? This is Stone's part. There's enough for each of them that we can, we can divide them into two here. Great. So, put your middle finger on the G string, 7th fret. Put your ring finger on the B string, 8th fret. You're going to strum strings, D, G, and B. And then you're going to use your pointer finger. Your middle finger is going to stay throughout this whole intro. This is the chorus also. Your pointer finger is going to get the B string, 6th fret. And then your pointer finger goes down to the 5th fret. And then, I think, up for one more on the 6th fret. So the B string frets are 8, 6, 6, 5. Now, at this point, the band kicks in for a big B flat. But, if you're stone, you get to stay where you were here because, look, if you put your ring finger on the D string 8th fret, that now looks like an F, and this is a B flat. F, G, A, B flat. We're just leaving the D string open, so no conflict between this and this. Here's the intro. That's also the chorus, so congratulations, two for one. All right, next, the pre-verse slash uppity verse. The downity verse is a little different. It's a smaller version of the uppity verse and the pre-verse. Here we go. It's on the D string. We're going to divide it into fours for easy understanding. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 5th fret D string, 7th fret D string. That was the first four. The second four are the 8th fret and the 7th fret. The next four are 8, 10, 8, 7. And the last two are 8 open. So, 5, 7, 5, 7, 8, 7, get that done with one pluck, believe it or not, so crank your distortion and do lots of hammer-ons and pull-offs. Obviously, if you're going from low to high, it's a hammer-on, and if you're going from high to low, it's a pull-off. And we're going to do a slide from 8 to 10, so here we go slow. <laughs> slow. Go faster. My big tip is when you get, when, when you, to here, when you hammer on that middle finger, take off the pointer finger so you get a clean pull off to zero. Otherwise, I kept doing that. So if you, you get a cleaner pull off to zero. Of course, after you do that three times, you go, and that's a muted on the D string 7th fret. And then he starts singing for the downity verse. So, sounds like a fabric softener. <laughs> so, we're going to go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, and then kind of slide up to Nowheresville. The first nine notes of the whole thing. And then grab the tenth fret of the D string and go down to Nowheresville. 
up to Nowersville, down to Nowersville. But you don't do the down to Nowersville the fourth time. Um, that's it. That, that's that's it for the the first half of the verse, and then the second half of the verse, he goes back to the whole thing. Yeah, until they go, they get, they do the big B flat again. And as Stone, you can join in there with that one, or you can do this one. Which would probably be more convenient because we're bowing, we're bowing, we're going back into the chorus at that point. Once. I got, I gotta say that my old roommate, <laughs> he, uh, he thought it was once a party time. So, once upon a time, not once a party time, Travis, who is a, uh, subscriber here, so hello if you're watching. Anyways, uh, the only thing I have to say about that is the second verse is the same as the first verse, except for at the end of the Oh, try and mimic what's insane. Yeah, at the end of the first line of singing, Stone does the coolest thing ever, my favorite part. He goes, so here's the beginning of the second verse. Oh, oops, not that. Fourth time. <laughs> I love that. It's like it's like you're playing an A on the fifth fret. So you got D G B five, and that is well, it's a C because look here's our C bar chord. We'd have third fret A string, fifth fret on D G B, but. This is more like a riff in A minor, sorta, of, so this would double as an A minor 7 chord. They're, they're kinda, they're kinda married. A minor 7 and C. Uh, yeah, great. So then we go back to the chorus after the second verse, which is the same as the first verse, except for the... And then the solo comes, and all Stone does, we'll save the solo for Mike's part, of course, but Stone goes A, G note A, G note A. So A, you know, A chord, open, two, two, two. And then the bass definitely goes down to G. And I'm betting Stone goes with him. You just play the third fret of the E string. That's a G. Grandma always brings crappy deviled eggs. Grandma, G. There it is. Remember that forever. This is a G note. It's the lowest note of your G chord, so it's kind of easy to recognize there. Anyway, solo. power chord, mind you, that's what I'm playing. I'd, I'd keep it the power chord, that's pointer finger A1, ring finger D3, pinky finger G3. And here comes the very last two parts that you need to know, so I hope this has been fun. We're almost done. Back to how we started the intro. With your middle finger on G7 and your ring finger on B8. One, two, three, four strums. Followed by B6, B open, open. Followed by G6, followed by G5. That's the first one. The second one is. Followed by open D, D3, either G open 
Oh. Or or D5. I like G open because it gives you just enough time to get back to, to this action after you do this action. So here's like the bridgey bit. And then Stone's little tinkly dinkly part is the bridge point two. Only the B string now, 8th fret, 6th open, slide from 8 to 10, and back to 8. to play once by Pearl Jam. Finally, I'm sorry that took me so long, but uh, it was daunting feeling, but it didn't turn out all that bad. So just remember, go slow and then get faster. This is my favorite part. <laughs> That's my favorite. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite part. <laughs> That's my favorite part. What's yours? Let me know. Anyways, bring on the requests. Uh, I have lots, but I can certainly have more. So thank you for the request, gentlemen. Notice no ladies in that request. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm a little proud of that one. That one was really fun. I love that song. I love it more now. As if I could love it more. Now I love it more. Okay, bye. <laughs>